Disney officially confirmed the release date for Zombies 3. It's July 15, 2022. Now, before you get too excited, however, we do also have some bad news, which is that Disney also confirmed that it would be the final movie of the series. At least we'll get to see how it all ends when we get to take one last visit to Seabrook. From where we left off in Zombies 2, it seems that finally harmony has been achieved in the Zombies universe. Humans, werewolves, and zombies are miraculously getting along without any fights or disagreements, fortunately. Bucky is passed on the cheer captain jacket to Addison. The zombies and werewolves are now friends with each other, the werewolves have gotten their power back, and the adults have finally learned the lessons of tolerance and equality. The only thing bothering fans now is how Zombies 2 ended in an intense cliffhanger, and we have so many questions left. At the end of Zombies 2, there was something which just fell right out of the sky, and a blue light started shining from Addison's hair. While waiting for the third movie, fans have drawn up some possible outcomes of the different creatures that could be brought into the movie and what could go down in Zombies 3. Let's take a look at some of the wildest ones which might actually happen in Zombies 3. A prequel? This first fan theory may seem a bit too wild, but looking at how the movie took place 50 years after the explosion, a time jump is indeed a possibility. As a matter of fact, our theory suggests that the third movie might even take place before the explosion. We're sure the zombies didn't just back down without a fight. Addison did tell Zed how her family weren't exactly friends with the zombies because the zombie tore her grandfather's ear off with its mouth many years ago. Maybe this took place right in the midst of a cold war before the government created the zombies. We wouldn't be shocked if we discovered that the explosion was not even a mishap, but instead an orchestrated event which was planned by some people in power to put an end to their enemies. Let's take a look at another possibility. A time jump could also mean that the story takes us into the future and not the past. The theory is that the meteor which came crashing from the sky led to a shift in time, and as a result, we now have zombies, werewolves, and humans begin to get intermarried and subsequently create a new species which is a hybrid of all three species. It could even potentially put them in a whole new dimension where Addison is the only one who remembers what went down in Seabrook and she has to look for her friends and find a way to explain to them everything that happened. It's also possible that if fans don't get to watch a new species enter the zombies universe, we could maybe end up getting a foreign exchange student introduced. Yes, we know the trope is super cliche, but you can't deny that one of these guys would keep things spicy. They really know how to keep things interesting throughout the movie. Someone who has never ever actually seen a zombie or a werewolf could also be an interesting addition to the story, could also possibly create a conflict between Zed and Addison. This exchange student could also play a role in Addison's journey to uncover who she really is and where she comes from. Maybe that person will present themselves as a friend at first, but will secretly be working against our favorites. The real reason Bozo can't talk in English. At some point or the other, you definitely must have wondered why all the other zombies can easily talk in English, but Bozo can't. He only knows the zombie language. As a result of this, he couldn't talk directly to humans. While entering human territory, he rarely speaks as his messages require translating by others. But we can understand why he's a fan favorite, seeing what gentle and kind person he is. Even when the humans don't accept him, he still likes to greet new people with a hug. Here's a wild idea that may just be the reason he can't speak in English. What if his mom was a human and she suffered some complications during childbirth because of her being a human giving birth to a zombie? Maybe that trouble impaired his speech too. Bonzo may not know English, but he is definitely the best DJ around. Not to mention that his music is great, so it really doesn't matter. We really hope that in this movie, Bonzo's storyline gets explored properly and he gets more screen time because he's definitely one of the most underrated characters. A Twilight crossover. One really interesting thing that we might see in Zombies 3 is a Twilight crossover. No, no joke here. While waiting for the second Zombies movie after watching the first, many fans for some reason predicted a Riverdale crossover. Riverdale is a CW show based on the Archie comics that follows the story of Archie and his companions Jughead, Veronica, and Betty. Sometimes the show surprises us and takes a look at topics like single-parent families and social cliques, not to mention the constant ongoing romances between the main characters. You probably had no idea that one of the showrunners, Roberto Aguirre Sacasa, almost went ahead with a TV show which would revolve around Archie's friends in the midst of a zombie apocalypse. It was going to be based on The Afterlife with Archie, a comic about the undead in Riverdale that Roberto created back in 2017. Not just that, but Roberto also hinted that they could be bringing back the supernatural for Zombies 3. In this other world, a zombie outbreak invades Riverdale after Jughead can't get over his dead dog, so he asks teen witch Sabrina Spellman to use magic to bring him back from the dead. In order to do this, Sabrina has to turn to dark magic and the dog is brought back to life. But as one of the undead, and as you could have guessed, things aren't exactly what they used to be. The undead dog then bites Jughead, from whom the disease then quickly moves all throughout Riverdale. 
However, since there was no clear Riverdale reference, fans then came up with the theory that we could instead be getting a Twilight crossover. They said that it can't be possibly a coincidence that Boo Boo Stewart just happened to show up in Seabrook, that too with glowing eyes like the rest of the werewolves. This then made fans ask the question, could Boo Boo Stewart possibly be the Great Alpha in Zombies 3? One of the main themes running throughout the movies had been about changing and loving each other despite any differences you might have. We have to admit, though, that for a Disney production, the themes being touched on are really heavy. The first film looked at zombies trying to make a safe space for themselves in the world of humans, trying to show the humans how they too are deserving of acceptance like anybody else, and as Ed reminded us, they're not monsters. The second movie shows us a world where zombies and humans have finally achieved a certain peace and are now living together without any major problems. In Zombies 2, we got to see Zed's own prejudices towards the werewolves. It's a pretty interesting way of talking about intersectionality and how people who've been the victim of prejudices often keep some of their own prejudice towards another group or community that now they've already been forced to deal with that treatment. What will Zombies 3 take a look at? Most fans think that Disney will keep following the same themes, and we can expect Zombies 3 to further explore Addison's own self-discovery. However, many fans have also said that they'd really like to see something else besides these themes which have already been looked at by the two movies. We'll just have to wait and see what happens now. Addison might have a sibling. For our final crazy theory on Zombies 3, let's discuss how Addison might not be an only child. She's probably not being brought up by her biological parents. There's no other explanation for the white hair. It could even mean that her family members are either deceased or they've been looking for her all this time. Let's pretend that her family members are still alive. One of the more plausible theories suggests that as a result of unavoidable circumstances, Addison's parents couldn't take her with them or had to give her up for an adoption. An even crazier theory out there suggests that her parents kidnapped her, not knowing that she's a supernatural being. And so, when it dawned on them that she has special abilities, they started giving her pills that would constrain her true powers so she wouldn't get to the bottom of who she really is. It's definitely possible. But one thing's for sure, we'll be seeing plenty of aliens in this movie. Who will be in Zombies 3? In Z3, stars Meg Donnelly and Milo Mannheim will once again grace the screen as Seabrook's star-crossed zombie cheerleader lover Zed and Addison. We know that there wouldn't be a movie without those two, and fortunately we know for sure that they will be leading the third one as well. Other than that, director Paul Hone and writers David Light and Joseph Rosso have also been involved in Zombies 3. Good news for fans, we'll also get to see Trevor Torgman as Bucky, Chandler Kinney as Willa, Kingston Foster as Zoe, Ariel Martin as Winter, Kylie Russell as Eliza Pierce Joza as Wyatt, and Carla Jeffrey as Bree. So, those are all your favorites. We're also going to be seeing some fresh faces, which will include Kyra Tantayo as Ali, Matt Cornett as Alan, Terry Hugh as Aspen, and James Godfrey as Bonzo. There is one surprise, though. We're going to be seeing a really big star making an appearance in the upcoming movie. That big star is the iconic, the show-stopping, wait for it, RuPaul. RuPaul will be voicing the Mothership, who's a passive-aggressive UFO in which the aliens arrive at Earth. Honestly, come to think of it, there's definitely no one who could have done that role better. This isn't their first movie either. RuPaul decided to join the franchise after having previously made appearances in films like But I'm a Cheerleader, the VH1 holiday movie, The Bleep Who Stole Christmas, and The Brady Bunch movie, a very Brady sequel. Having a legacy. One thing we know for sure is that Zombies 3 will have plenty of dance numbers. In fact, the movie will kick off with a song called Alien Invasion. It's reportedly one of the biggest dance numbers that they've done and will pull in audiences right away. The song will ask the question of whether the otherworldly visitors are friends or foes. Cornette insists that the aliens are, in fact, friendly beings. They don't want any trouble and are just looking for a place they could settle in. A digital soundtrack, which will also include Alien Invasion, among more new songs, will also be available July 15 through Walt Disney Records. The soundtracks for the first two movies were a huge success and reached the top five on both Billboard's kids' albums and soundtrack charts, with the first movie soundtrack staying at number one on kid albums for ten whole weeks. Seeing what huge successes the first two movies were, the pressure is definitely on for Zombies 3 too. Well, that's all for today's video. If you've enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, The Focus, for more movie-related news. We'll see you next time. Bye.